Hello, my friend. Welcome to another session as we are making steps closer to Christ by the power of God. Today, we're in paragraph 15.2, the last paragraph in this chapter. And I want to thank you for journeying with us through this chapter and the chapters to come. I challenge you to continue this journey, continue journaling, because we are here to win so we can have an intimate relationship with Christ by the grace of God. Let's go. It says, Such love is without a parallel. Children of the heavenly king, precious promise. Theme for the most profound meditation, the matchless love of God for a world that did not love him. The thought has a subduing power upon the soul and brings the mind into captivity to the will of God. The more we study the divine character in the light of the cross, the more we see mercy, tenderness, and forgiveness blended with equity and justice. And the more clearly we discern innumerable evidences of a love that is infinite and a tender pity surpassing a mother's yearning sympathy for her wayward child. What a powerful closing uh, to this chapter, God's love for men and women. And my friend, as I reflect upon this passage here, one of the things that stood out to me is the fact that Jesus loves us. Jesus really loves us. And this really has been the, the theme throughout this uh, chapter, God's love for us. And this love was revealed through Christ. And the more we study the divine character, uh, my friend, in light of the cross. And one of the things I want to highlight here is the more we study the divine character in the light of the cross, the more we see mercy, uh, uh, the tenderness of God, so forth, as you just read, we want to understand uh, God's mercy and God's love. But this is going to come when we study the, 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 the divine character in light of the cross. You see, there is one thing to look at God's character, but not look at his character in light of the cross. It's very dangerous to look at God's character, but not having the cross before it. Because Satan will try to misrepresent the character of God by making him show you whether, oh look, God took away your child. Oh look, God uh, did this to your family. Oh look, God made you got sick in the time of COVID-19. Oh look, God made you go through this. Oh look, God is making Making you have a bad experience in your marriage. Oh, look, God is making you experience financial hardship. Oh, look, God is making you uh, feel so unworthy and make you feel so useless. Oh, look, God allowed your virginity to take away at a young age. Oh, look, God did not protect your family from the pandemic. Oh, look, God did not sustain you while you were going through the storm in your country. Oh, look, your house is gone. Oh, look, uh, so much different things Satan will point you to to misrepresent the character of God but when we look at the character of God in light of the cross we see mercy we see love we see grace we see we see God's unconditional love and mercy revealed to us my friend and so now I want to challenge you that now when Satan tried to bring doubt in your mind concerning God's character look at the cross Behold the cross, behold Jesus hanging high because he went through it to save you. He went through it to save me. He went through it so that we can understand that nothing can separate us from God's love. Nothing, no, 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 no angel, no principality, no power, no things present, no things to come, no height, no death, no any other creature shall be able to separate us us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord and so my friend now I want to challenge you as you read the Bible as you go throughout the week everything that happens in your life put the cross of Christ before it because Satan will try every effort he will make every effort to misrepresent the character of God when he does that look at the cross to be reminded that no Jesus never allowed this to happen to me, 
to show me that he hates me. Jesus never allowed this. Jesus never allowed this to happen to me, to make me feel like I'm useless, I, I, I'm unworthy, to make me feel like I am nobody, to make me feel like I am not worthy to live, to make me feel like I want to commit suicide. My friend, Jesus went to Calvary to lift you up. Jesus went to Calvary to give you victory over your doubts, to give you victory over all the different struggles you're facing. Jesus went to Calvary so you can understand that mercy is available to you. So when you fall, when you doubt, when you when you struggle with whatever you're struggling with, when you struggle with pornography, when you struggle with addictions, when you struggle with, 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 with addictions of watching Netflix, with addictions of watching YouTube, with addictions of scrolling on Facebook, addictions of scrolling on Instagram, when you struggle with these struggles, look at the cross and be reminded that mercy and grace are available towards you, my friend. And so I want to end this chapter by just looking at God's love for you that, listen, in spite of what I've been through, I can look at the cross. In spite of the setback, in spite that I got baptized three times and it seemed like a fourth time is coming. I can look at the cross and realize that there is still hope. I can look at the cross and realize that there is still redemption. I can look at the cross and realize that God still loves me. And so I challenge you to look at the cross and there you'll find mercy and hope and realize that God's character is dipped in mercy, dipped in love, dipped in goodness, dipped in grace, dipped in plentiful uh, 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 mercy towards you because he loves you with an everlasting love. Write that down. Write down your doubts. Write down the times in your journal. Write in, in your journal right now. Write in your journal the times when Satan made you doubt whether or not God loves you. And I want you to analyze that uh, in light of the cross. I want you to put the cross there. Reflect upon the cross. Reflect when the times Satan made you doubt. Reflect the times that Satan are making you doubting right now. And look at the cross. Put them beside it in your, in your journal. You can sketch. You can do some arts in your journal. Put them side to side. And look and see which one prevail. The cross will show you that God's love is unconditional for you. You are his daughter. You are his child. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for revealing your love to us through Christ on Calvary. Let us not doubt. Let us not feel like, God, you do, you do not love us. Because clearly when we look at the cross, you went to the extreme to show us that clearly you love us. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining in this session and I'll see you next time because we are here to help you win. God bless.